Welcome to another episode of Career Mode with me, Ida. And today we are going to be playing West Ham and then we will have the last few hours of the transfer deadline day in January. And we've not had an episode for probably about a week by the time this one comes out. And the problem I've had is I've literally had no time off to even just record anything. I've been doing some football coaching, I've been doing loads of work, and just, you know, just sometimes you can't get things done you want to do, but you can't let that get in your way. So, we're going to go straight ahead and show you what I've been doing in this week where I did have a little time, didn't have any time enough really to do much. I literally went from the Man City games, you know, fast forwarded up to Middlesbrough and lost the game 1-0. And that was on a Saturday night where I had a few drinks and I decided that I'd try and play a game or two. And then I realised that I was right near the end of the transfer window, so I just left it there after playing one game. <laughs> so there wasn't really much point in doing that anyway. So what we're going to do is that West Ham game and the transfer deadline day, and that will make up the episode. We got an offer for Bascali from West Bromwich Albion and we never really play him so I'm going to say if you give us 7 million then you can have him and we will sell you to him. Manchester City did put an offer in for Donnarumma, I do remember this one, I, they offered something like 25 million, I just had an extra 100 million on that, I was like I'm not getting rid of Donnarumma seeing as we already got rid of uh, you know, all the other goalkeepers that we've had so far. And I don't really want to get rid of pretty much the youngest, best goalkeeper on the game for not much money. West Brom offered six million, and that is as high as they say they want to go, which is actually more than his value. So I will let them have him because we never play him. We have received a transfer offer from Borussia Dortmund for Marcus Rashford, and as we've said before, 55 to 50, or 50 to 55 million, and you can have him. Dortmund came back with 41.5 million. I'm going to say 50.5, then you can have him. So 50.5 million. We've had an offer from Swansea for Jorge Mere. He is an 80 rated centre back that is 20 years old. You are not going to get him for how much you want. You have to pay pretty much world record fee for him 44 million. Borussia Dortmund came back again and offered 42,378,144. I'm guessing that is their total budget. So again, 50 million, you can have him. I'm not, I'm not selling him for less than that. Swansea have come back and offered 25 and a half million for him. And as we've said, you need to give us a lot more than that for a 20 year old that is rated 80 at centre back. Swansea have come back again for Mere at 34 million. As I said, 42, around that figure, you can have them. We are going straight into our first game. It is against West Ham, and our team is pretty much the same as always. We have Lance, Gabriel, Marlos, and Rashford as our front four. Sanchez, Kessie, and then Robertson, Zuma, Mere, and Weiser with Donnarumma in goal. But I might put Baba in for Robertson. West Ham, first game of today's episode, and as I've said, it is the first episode in a while, so this may be quite a difficult game in terms of the fact that we will have almost played Marcus Rashford through, but we haven't really had a feel for even playing the game for about a week around that amount of time, and so we need to get back into it and I probably should try and play like a practice game before this one just to get back into it because it might help but I couldn't be bothered so <laughs> we will have to oh that's a terrible pass a terrible idea but we'll have to just sort of blag this game and see how we do hopefully we can do better than we have done in our previous games like that Middlesbrough game, which, like I've said, didn't exactly have the most uh, cognitive <laughs> aspect of myself together because I had a few drinks, um, which will have affected how we played. Can I get across in the box? Rashford is there. He didn't win the header. Into Rashford. Can he spin the defender? Shoots, and it's deflected. Is that a corner? Marlos is going to take this corner. It's going to be, I think, too close to the keeper. No. Nope but we don't win a header on it. Can we give it out to Sanchez? 
Give it there to Lance, who's going to shoot. And it's not very close to the goal, Lance. Train your shooting better. There we go. Gabriel's played Rashford. Got one in the middle of the pitch. But Rashford's first touch wasn't the greatest. But can he cut inside? Shoots. And it's saved by, I think, Adrian. I'm not sure who West Ham's goalkeeper is on this now. Oh, he's through. And he scored. And that is, I think, Antonio. Is that Mikel Antonio? Poor defending from me and an easy pass off and an easy shot. Poor defending there. Dived in. I don't know what that was. And, yeah, easy tap in. Sanchez is there. It goes around. The defender shoots across the keeper and it's saved again. Okay, it's our defending again. West Ham, their only real chance of the game was that goal that they scored. We've had five shots in and around their box. They've had three. Two have gone miles wide from them and one was in the back of the net. Oh, and they're through straight away again, and that's a goal again. Donnarumma, you have not made one save today in the second half. Let's give it back there. Can we score? It's a P-roller shot, and the goalkeeper saved again. Can we get the rebound? We can't. Lance, you're too slow on the ball to get that rebound. We should be 2-1 there. If it was them, they would have scored that easy. And I don't know how we can't score those chances. Nice, easy chances. It's a tap-in, and we don't score the goal. Gabriel is there. Still in the same move. Gabriel still got the ball. Gives it back to Kessie. Can we give it out to Marlos? We can. Nobody's with us forwards. We've been attacking for a long time. We're not on defensive and we only have four players there that we could try and get to. We didn't have any midfielders pushing up and helping. And that is why our formation sucks. We need to change it and try a different tactic again. Because it's not working. Lance is there. Gives it down to Baba. He's going to take a touch. Inside, gives it to Lance, who gives it there, shoots, and it's blocked again by a West Ham player. Nudson is there, gives it in to Guedes, but he's got to get round like four defenders. And can he do it? Guedes, he can, and the goalkeeper is in the way again. Ball there through to Guedes, but it's out wide. Pavon is there, Sanchez is there, but gives it to Weisser, Kessie's there. Gives it in again. Gives it to Gide. Shoots. Can we get a follow-up? We can't. And that is full time. And we lose 2-0 when West Ham pretty much scored from their only two shots. Yes, they did. Two shots on target, two goals. They had one shot in the second half. Because remember, this half time, it was one goal, three shots, one on target. We had nine shots, six on target. The goalkeeper made six saves, apart from, you know, blocks. What can we do to win these games? We need to defend better. That's pretty much it. And try and get a goal. We can win 1-0. Last 10 hours of the transfer deadline day on our last transfer window for Sunderland. Because this is our last season with them to see if we can improve their team. Swansea have decided they do not want to spend the money for Jorge Mere. Which is good for us because it means we can keep one of our better players. Valencia have offered 45 million for Rashford. If you can bump that up five more million, you can get him. Valencia do not want to sign Rashford for that much money, so they've decided to back out. I put in an offer for Bertrand Traore of Chelsea, and it was 12 million, which is all of the money we had left, and he wants 100,000, 110,000 a week. Might as well pay it, because it is pretty much the last player we're going to be able to sign, and it's a good signing for us. Bertrand Troyer has accepted his contract. It means another player in and another player we can use in our formation. With three hours left of this transfer window, it seems that we are not really going to make any massive moves out of the club. So I'm going to skip forward till the last hour unless something massive comes in. As I thought, nothing really has happened. The only thing that's really happened is Tielemans, 31 million from Anderlecht to Roma and William Carvalho, 41 million from Sporting Lisbon to Barcelona. Apart from that, not much else has happened. And Loftus-Cheek did get sold by Chelsea. Who did he go to? Because I put in an offer for him and they didn't accept it, but I didn't really want to pay what they were looking for. Who's he gone to then? Who is that? Why has he gone to Morense? <laughs> he could have come to us. Oh, Chelsea. You could have given him to a Premier League team and you've given him to them. It's, well, I mean, it's not. It's something I'd expect from Chelsea, to be honest. We always seem to 
loan players out to random teams and hope they do something and they never do and then they think oh wait hang on we need that player or they think actually he's not that good even though they've been playing for some terrible team but anyway all right we are going to finish the episode here because we did the one game and we did the 10 hours of the transfer window and not much really happened but Hopefully, we can go on and improve oh, the rest of the season because we have 15 games left in the league. Well, yeah, we have 15 games in the league, so we need to see if we can shoot up the league a bit more. I'm going to leave you there. So, thanks for watching. If you loved it, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to help me with the channel. But thanks for watching and peace.